Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my channel Tech with Eddie which is all about integrating your IoT devices with your preferred home automation ecosystem. In my past videos I have shown how I integrated my Synology NAS 218 Plus with HomeKit uh, plus tutorials uh, in installing Hoops and HomeBridge. Frankly speaking the Synology NAS uh, is an integral device in my home network as well as my workflow. So do take a look and uh, don't feel shy to hit the like and subscribe button uh, to follow along. So for those consumers like me who do have a Synology NAS, uh, there are other ways to take advantage of Docker. And so for the next couple of videos, a little bit of deviation for my regular routine, I will show a couple of simple uh, installations uh, to install five containers uh, in Docker in a more simplified manner. I use Docker because all of the applications run within one environment and they're all lightweight. So for those who love downloading torrents to your NAS, Today we will install and configure the transmission container in Docker. For all of these videos, I will be using Docker installed in my Synology NAS 218 Plus. So let's not waste time like I always say and let's jump into this tutorial. Let's log into our Synology NAS. Open up Docker. And uh, these are the two containers that we have uh, up and running. Uh, in my previous video, we did install the Plex container. Let's hold a head over to registry and let's look for transmission. And let's double click the first link. Select the latest tag and uh, the downloading will begin uh, whilst that's downloading um, this is the page that has additional information that you can uh, go through i've added in the description but we'll also go with the configuration as well and uh, let's head over back to the synology interface and uh, open up file station and within the docker folder we will create a folder called transmission And within transmission, we will create another folder called data. Okay, once that is done, let's uh, go to Docker. And we see that the um, application is downloaded. Let's double click on it and let's name it. Advanced settings, enable auto restart and uh, within the volume section we will add in three folders uh, one for the data one for the completed uh, torrents that's downloaded and uh, one for the incomplete okay so i basically use my transmission uh, for movies um, there are other applications that you can use within docker like couch potato the choices are there but this one we just focus for transmission that uh, attends to my needs as well so the first folder, what we want to do is go to Docker, Transmission, select data, and put in over here config. The next one is, let's add it again, media, plex, movies, select. And I'm going to put in my path as downloads. And also within my Plex folder, I've created an incomplete folder. Uh, you can add that as well, or you can store that location in the uh, primary folder of uh, transmission that we created in Docker. So media, movies, and let's go down all the way to incomplete. Select, and I'm gonna put over here as watch. Okay, once that's done, um, network Oops. network we leave it as it is both settings uh, all we got to do is add in five one four one three add in five one four one three five one four one three UDP 
Okay. Uh, the links, uh, no changes. Uh, in the environment, we've got to add in uh, five values. So let's go and add in first the time zone. The next one we're going to add in is the user ID and the group ID. Now to get the uh, user ID and the group ID is very simple. Let's go into terminal uh, for Mac, Putty for Windows. Uh, let's uh, SSH into the uh, NAS drive. All you got to do is type in ID dash G. Try again, space. That's the ID and uh, your user ID is ID dash U. So that's the two information that we copy paste for uh, PGID and PUID. So for PGID, we will 100. PUID is 1026. Okay. Now there are two additional uh, values that you can add in if you want to. That's the username and password. Uh, the choice is yours. So we can do that or it'll just open default as a uh, web page with no authentication. So that's the default username and password I'm putting. If you want, you can uh, not use these two variables. And uh, let's click on apply. Next. Apply. Let's go to the containers. So we have now three uh, containers running. Let's go to the uh, web page. So we type in 192 and we type in 91. And uh, there was a mistake. Let's stop the transmission. Edit, port settings, and we type in 9091. Apply. There you are. You have the transmission service up and running. So let's go quickly go to the home server. Um, and uh, one of the things I did was I just updated the uh, port, which was auto to 9091. So you want to make sure that all the port settings uh, are the same. To make sure if the uh, transmission service is working, what we can do is we can quickly select a torrent. And uh, you can select the destination folder over here, downloads complete. And uh, um, change it. Uh, as well or you can even go to down to the configuration yeah and you can over here you can select plex media movies that's where where i want my movies to go and other settings as well so we can save it and let's add in a torrent to see if it works upload If you are to have any issues with the connectivity over here, it's got to do with the, uh, the user ID and the group ID. So make sure there are no errors over there. Finally, there we are. Collaboratively, we have installed the transmission container using Docker. In our next video, we will install the MQTT container. Now, to keep all of this going, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. That's the real driver. That's the real uh, motivator. The more, the merrier to bring all of this content to you. And if there's any doubt, and if there's anything I can help with, you can also put down your comments uh, down below. So until then, take care, stay safe, have a nice day, cheers and ciao.